Three meters to the urine! I wanted to say Eureka. You know, I'm sure a million people have already screamed at their screen. Sage, for the love of God, you have a welding grinding ship hovering behind you. Just finish the grinders, and then you can use that to cut down the pipes. Well, smarty pants, maybe I will. Maybe I will, because that makes a lot of sense. We just need to grab the stuff, and then we can connect it in. We'll have all the stuff in the world we need as we grind down this silly, silly facility, Billy. Everybody wants to rule the world, especially if you're a Nazi named Donald Trump. Donald Trump, fascist king of America. He's a dick, 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 dick. Main cargo container. There, ha, ha, ha. Ha 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 done until I remembered this. This right here, look, look, Sage, there's little blocks in here you never finished because you need interior plates and construction components. Why didn't you finish those when you were working on the inside there? I almost called myself Lad. Lad is the name of my dog, if you don't know. That's why I kind of went off on a tangent there, where I was like, wait a minute. I am not Lad. Lad is my adorable puppy dog. I am not as good of a person as he is. He's an adorable good puppy dog who loves everyone. That's that's uh, that's that's my bark, not his. His bark is much different. He has two barks. He has many barks. He also talks. He goes, arr, arr, arr. I love that dog. It's one of the reasons why that Chinese wild dog hurting nonsense and people who harm puppies is insufferable to me. By the way, if you comment on that, I. I, I just, I'm not going to be able to respond to your comment because I physically cannot read on those things because I'm a big softy pants in the inside. Alrighty dokey loki loki dokey. The ship is finally working. We're going to go ahead and hop into it there and just fly it over with a lovely, lovely power usage overloads. Look out below little demon doggy thing. Right around to here. Ruby. All of our piping should now be done. And ready to rumble. Hopefully I've set this all up correctly. Let's go ahead and press G. We'll grab our tools. Why is it showing these twice? I thought weapons and tools was supposed to show the whole set. So like if we do two, it's spinning both. So why is it showing them twice on weapons and tools? I don't know. Also, I was holding it down, went to a menu screen, and now they're just spinning. Great. Anyway, let's make some groups from first. And now that we got those groups made, we're just going to go ahead and set them to toggle on and off. We're going to go ahead and do this. So it's at the hotbar, welder, grinder, welder, grinder. Cool. Also, notice as the sun sets, the power's battery fun time happen of fourth. That wasn't English. The power begins to fail on the facility, so we get nice blinky lights. Fantastic. Great. Absolutely what the doctor called for. Luckily, we still have a few minutes of sunlight, so I'm just going to go ahead and let the facility suffer for a little bit. And I've just realized that, oh dear, we are going to be in so much trouble when the power goes out. We should have some uranium built, so we should be able to run that reactor. And of course, we could just turn on the batteries, but the battery said fully depleted in one hour, which I assume is going to be, well, you know, it's half an hour of nighttime or whatever. But I get the feeling that um, this battery is going to deplete a lot quicker. See, now's the time when those batteries should be kicking in, basically. Now they should be like, oh my god, output power, quick! Now, I wonder, I wonder, let's let's test something just really quickly here. Sage is going to hop out, run over here, and test, is this antenna on? No, it's off. See, it's off. So that's not drawing power. So I don't know why those stupid batteries were like, let's drain our power supply! Like imbecile machines from the highest heaven sent to betray themselves. And rather unfortunately, since my grinding ship is such a big beastie, we are going to have to grind down this whole section just to get to those conveyor pipes. But no worry, that's what we want to do anyway. Honestly, before everything goes dark, I should probably go ahead and stick some more lights on this thing. That way, when it does get night, I'll still be able to see what I'm doing. Otherwise, Saint is just going to be floating around, basically bumbling in the dark. You know what, we're going to save that for when it's nighttime. We're going to save it till we, we actually need it. Because that's not the intelligent way to do things, but because, um, oh, I just don't want to be running about dealing with lights right now. Well, we still have a view to look at. Look at that view, huh? Nice trees on mountainside with the sun disappearing behind it. It's quite nice, really, if you think about it. I don't know where I'm going with this. Oh, look. 
magic hovering glow. Oh, it's gone. Oh, I should also point out, I think I might have mentioned this, or it might have been in the footage that I lost. Um, when it comes to uh, Grinder Shake, remember I dropped that ship in the grinder pit, and it just flew all over the place, and just was a god-awful mess? Um, yeah, I went ahead and disabled... Uh, what tool shake and all that because people were saying that's what caused it so hopefully we won't get any stupid blocks that decide to be possessed by demons and flail around and hit us in the face anymore because that was rather annoying just having those blocks flail everywhere it's like great you you basically built a grinder pit worthless that's worthless though dashery but sunlight has uh, reached a point where the base isn't even getting any power anymore fantastic time to turn on the reactor or batteries probably batteries and then reactor. Until the reactor runs out. And then back to batteries. Or something like that. Because, you know, obviously uh, I can't just put... <laughs> look, look at this. This is pretty funny, actually. If I tried to get the uranium... Oh my god, we have one point whatever uranium! Let me grab it! Oh no, it's trapped in the machine! Because, of course, we can't even get the uranium right now because uh, there's no power. So let's go ahead and turn on these sons of guns. I don't know why I always feel like I have to run up here, just select a battery group, and then do that. Oh, look, the lights are back online. Oh, uh, boy, boy. And then let's... You know what? We're not even going to grab that. Well, let's grab the uranium. And then let's put it in here and then turn this off. Oh, my God. More than enough power. Because what we don't want to do is just be wasting that uranium. We'll keep it in there, and then when everything goes to pot, when the power is completely dead... Then we'll power that thing up so we still have power. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and put a light on here. Mm. We need steel plates, <laughs> uh, construction component, and an interior plate. I, I hate, I hate the need for interior plates just randomly. Why is that? I just, just so it's, uh, it makes sort of sense for this, honestly. This is like, oh, it's something a little bit flashy. It's a light. So it might mean, you know, interior plates are sort of for something flashy, maybe, but I still don't get it for the six-way connectors for large structures. Herbert, 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 what's Sage looking for? Also, I'm going to put a bullet in my ball sack. Nom, 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 nom. There, enough stuff for four lights. That's what Sage was looking for. Ha ha ha! So now he can go ahead and find spots that he wants lights stuck in. So right there, right I think it's it's not right there, is it? I guess it is. It's so hard to tell with these things. They're such an odd shape. And that should give us more than enough light to light up everything we're working on. Cool story, bro. Ha ha ha, I want to stab myself. Okie dokie. Great, great. I put those in the wrong spot down there, didn't I? I didn't put them up here on these slightly inner ones. No, I put them out there on the sides. But you know what? That's fine. It's going to give us a nice wide array of lighting. Hopefully without giving us any glare in our cockpit. Because that's the last thing we want, is light in our pit of cocks. Cool. And we still can hover up easily enough. Let's go ahead and turn on our grinders. And just continue grinding. Now obviously I could have made this a front back ship where, oh, one side has grinders and one side has welders. I didn't feel like doing that. I did not feel like doing that, so I did it this way. I did it this way, Mr. Bond. It is heinous, just how quickly. It always feels like it's going back to night in this game. Just nutty. Just nutty butters. Butters so nutty. <laughs> also, I bought something new recently. I bought, and this isn't a cool technology thing like I usually buy. I did pre-order the Oculus Rift, but uh... <laughs> yeah, price tag on that is painful. I almost didn't, because I was like, I've been waiting, refreshing the page all day. Click, click. Yes! Oh, oh wow, is that really that much money? Oh, I had click, click. Yeah, that was me click clicking and buying it. Was, you know, me realizing time's going to run out. No time to tink it through. Order and then decide if keep. Well, actually, at that point, I was like, I've been waiting for VR for ages. I, I am sick of kicking myself every day that I do not have a headset on. So I went ahead and just got it. Well, ordered it, pre-ordered it. It's not set the ship for me till I think March it was or something. But another thing I bought recently that I've actually paid for and isn't just waiting till ship then charge is, it's something I'm using right now. It's attached to my feet. No, it's not funky paddles from hell. 
it's a uh, like under desk cycle thing basically <laughs> because i was originally planning in the new year to be going to the gym because I thought, okay, it's Planet Fitness, right? It's, uh, there's a Planet Fitness near me, and I've heard only pretty relatively good things about them. And then I actually looked it up online, the, the specific place I was about to, you know, want to go to. And it's like, wait a minute, Planet Fitness doesn't have a location there. What is that place? And I looked it up, and um, wasn't uh, the Planet Fitness wasn't exactly something that had all that many shiny reviews. It was you know, like ten to twenty dollars a month. I think it was $10 a month, but then it was like a $30 charge twice a year to keep your membership. And it was like, oh no, I Planet Fitness is more than like a five minute drive. And I know I don't want to go exercise, so it's going to be extra difficult to convince Mr. Sage to get up and actually go driving down there in the evening if it's more than a five minute drive. And then it's costing that much. I might as well just, and all I want to do is use a cycle because my back's going to get tired if I do anything else. And I always feel like a uncivilized ape when I do any upper body anything. I know it's not true, that's just what my brain is like. Oh, you're being an uncivilized ape, Mr. Sage. Oh, you're just trying to get the girls, you're not using your brain. I hate that my brain works like that sometimes. But I, so I was like, okay, you know what? Because my back's gonna get grumpy, because my brain will get extra grumpy, especially being in a gym area, it just smells and you know, I was like, let's just spend the money we would spend on the membership on an under the desk cycle. So I have a little desk cycle that I've been using. Oh my lord! I nearly hit that. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty nifty, honestly. You know, um, I've had it for two days. Yesterday I used it for almost the whole day. My legs were very uncomfortable that evening. My father was expecting me to get leg cramps or something in the evening. I didn't, it didn't even occur to him until I was like late in the evening. And I talked to him. He's like, okay, well, watch out for leg cramps tonight. And I'm like, oh no, I didn't even think about that. My legs were so finicky. Like I didn't want to walk or anything. They were so stiff. But uh, yeah, it's, um, woke up this morning. They weren't hurting. So happy days. Mr. Sage finally has a way to prevent himself from becoming 300 pounds. I was, I was about 80 pounds off of that, so I wasn't really that close to it. But, you know, I've had some friends go, Mr. Sage, you're getting... Mr. Sage. Why am I calling myself Mr. Sage? I am not Mr. Sage. My name is Sage or Ecto Sage, not Mr. Sage. Stop that. Mr. is reserved for Sark. Mr. Sark is a badass. Sage is Sage. Blah, 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 blah. But yeah, anyway, I did buy a little tiny cycle thing under my desk, and it's awesome! And I've just now started using it again, because I wasn't using it all the time I've been recording this, and it suddenly hit me, hey, hey, we're just floating about grinding. There's no reason not to be using it. Your legs can reach it and use it while you're, while you're, while you're pedaling, while you're just working here grinding away all this pointless nonsense. Rock and roll, Sage, rock and roll, get it done. Get it done. And make those legs suffer like the little bitches they are. Seriously though, if uh, if you know you need to try to not loot, not be massive, you know, and you don't feel like you know using a treadmill like Bernie Burns did, you know, play games standing up. Which I'm not a console guy, so that's not going to happen. And also, my back doesn't like me standing too much. These uh, these uh, under desk things seem pretty nifty. I don't know. Talk to me again in a month, and I'll be like, it ruined my life. It gave me leg cramps, and I can't sleep anymore. That's not the, the pipe going to our thing, is it? Oh, shiza. We could fix that. Control G. So, if you don't know, Control G puts you into build mode, and we're going to shift 3 now. And we're going to go ahead and find all of our components that we need to be on our shift 3 menu. So, doop, 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 doop. There we go. All in the nice, correct order. And now... Oh, wow, it's actually letting me place stuff correctly. Cool. Ah, right. This cockpit's not piped up, so we can't actually place anything. Ah, right. I don't have this stuff in my inventory. Great. That is fantastical. That is absolutely fantastic. It's happened again, didn't it? I've just realized I've had like a 10-minute session of me talking while grinding. God dang it. That's never going to stop, is it? It's just damned, doomed, hippity-doppity forever to just always, whenever I'm grinding, to end up working on Oh, whenever I'm grinding, just end up talking about nonsense. Brilliant. Okay, there we go. We got that pipe. We've ground down all the pipes that led out to the front there. We can now go ahead and hover ourselves up and use our welders to attempt to weld up all of this piping here. So we should be able to make at least some progress with it. Maybe not the most in the world, but at least some progress. 
I really want to offset this cockpit <laughs> at some point so we can see what we're doing a bit better from inside of it. Oh lord. Gently, gently, gently. Weld. Yes, success. Up, up, up. Weld, weld, weld. Yes, yes, yes. There's a thing I'm about to hit my head on. Holy heck, Tum. Yer, but you do it. At least I saw it before we actually hit it. Cool. Continue welding. Continue welding. Yes. Uh oh. Yes. I thought I thought we ran out of components. We're so close. Look at the progress we made. Ah, oh, the whole up and downy thing is done now. All we got to do is get this section here. And then three more compartments, maybe even less. Oh, that's so close. And then we can move our main cargo straight up to our sh escape ship. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, no. It's... we've run out. Dang it. It's all to hell. Shite. Okay, well, at least we made it to there. Uh, what we're going to do now is connect up and just transfer the components we need to continue and finish those off into our ship. And we're not going to do that right away, because we want to actually put some lights down here so we can see where we're docking the ship. There we go, got it in, and I'm also going to go ahead and set it up to be part of the running lights group. These little running lights are basically the ones I put all over the place, and there we go. So now, we actually have a light next to that, so when we come in to dock our ship, we'll actually be able to see where we're docking it, instead of just fumbling in the dark and waiting to see the connectors turn to the right color. Cool. So, come hinder flying sausage, we shall connect you. Look at that, we can actually see the ship coming out of the dark now. Awesome. <gasps> possum, possum, possum. I'm the king of the possum sitting about here. It's really disappointing that we don't have Oculus support confirmed. But Joel might help me he out. Get Oculus support for space engineers. So I can see depth. So I can see depth. Seriously though, I want Oculus support. Yes, this Let's Play has become a completely random and insane ramble and random singing time. But uh, don't you know, Sage used to be a uh, professional singer. <gasps> That's not true. That's a lie. That's an absolute lie that somebody made up. And oddly enough, I'm absolutely fine with continuing it. Oh no, Sage, you're going to continue a lie? Oh, you shouldn't do that. No, I'm not going to. I, I was never a professional singer, but I would have loved to have been one if I had the dedication to such a thing. By the way, before I do what I was about to do there, which is, you know, get the components we need. First off, we need to figure out which components we really need. And second off, I'm going to install some lights in here. Uh, the farther back it is, the more of a spread we'll get. I'm just not sure I'll be able to reach it when it's all the way back there. So right there, install that light. It almost looked like it was backwards for a millisecond. And then right here, install another light. Right on top of that one, eh? Cool. That should give us just a little bit more light. Wow. I think it's got a bunch of lights on now. Cool. Let's go grab the parts we need, eh? Alrighty, I think I got everything we should need in there, hopefully. I don't know, I probably missed something. Let me see. Anything in this uh, looks like I missed? I think I got the metal grids, right? Did I get metal grids? I probably didn't get metal grids. I bet you I got everything but metal grids, didn't I? Let's see. Let's see. What all did Sage get? What did Sage get? I got metal grids! Suck it! Gentleman sausage! Ah, ha, ha, ha. I'll grab some more just to be safe, though. <laughs> uh, okay, so with all that in there, let's go ahead take this ship go to third person make sure we can see everything press p okay the idea there was if the ship started dropping because i've loaded too much weight into it i could really quickly press p again and it would in theory lock the ship down and prevent us from falling to our death okay dokey so now we can go ahead and take our massive flying sausage and weld this up yes weld weld my precious weld it's like a mix between a German emperor and, um... Oh, my precious! The, 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 the evil, wicked witch of the West. Almost, but not really. Quite. Hippity hoppity hip 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 hoop. What did I forget? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. bitch. What kind of bullshit is that? Metal grids? I needed even more. I needed even more. And we need more construction clones. Great. Wow, I took a lot of metal grids. Also, why is it burning? kind of screwy nonsense is that? Or building it up means it catches on fire. We need 50 more metal grids. Let's see if we can even carry 50 metal grids in our own inventory. 
Uh, oh, body at the moment of yes. Hey, Macarena. Hey, there we go. Got what we needed. And finish. Dink. Sweet. Sweet Swiss cheese. Awesome. So now we got all that hooked up. All that hooked up. We just need some more construction components, which actually now, look at this. Look at this. Now that it's all hooked up. Bing! Construction components. <laughs> Pulling it through the unfinished thing. Hey, it was past the red line, which means it works. There we go. Got that. Got you. Got you. Cool. Awesome. Super, super nice. And now we can actually go ahead and if we had interior plates, again, interior plates because I guess it's airtight around the edges, maybe? I have no idea. 